everybody, and welcome to another fun production by Flint Youth Theatre's Student Actors with our presentation of Spooky Shorts. Spooky Shorts is a collection of fun, small, short stories for you to watch and have fun with. So please, sit back. Relax and enjoy Spooky Shorts! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> okay, Sophie's off getting marshmallows. We have to scare her. She hates scary stories. Perfect. Who's up for a spooky tale? Is that necessary? Oh, please. It's a camping tradition. I'll go first, and then we'll add on to the story. At the end of a long, dark road is a long, dark path. <laughs> At the end of a long, dark path is a long, dark house. And the long, dark house has a single, dark door. Behind a single dark door is a long dark hall. At the end of the long dark hall are some tall dark stairs. At the top of the tall dark stairs is a long dark balcony. At the end of the long dark balcony is a big dark In the big, dark room is a big, dark closet. And in the big, dark closet is a big, dark door. Behind the big, dark door are some steep, dark stairs. At the top of the steep, dark stairs is a dark, dusty attic. In dark, dusty attic is a big, dark chest. And in the big, dark chest is a small, dark box. In the small, dark box is... A pink jelly bean! The end. Ghost's favorite dessert. Booberries and ice cream. Where do witches' frogs sit? On a toadstool. What kind of coffee does a vampire drink? Decoffinated. Why did the ghost go to the sales? Because they were bargain haunters. What's a skeleton's favorite instrument? A trombone? What do you call two witches who share a room? Broommates. How does a vampire start a letter? Tomb, it may concern. Why is there a fence around the graveyard? Because people are dying to get in. Why didn't the skeleton jump off the roof? He didn't have the guts. What do sea monsters eat for lunch? Potato chips! What do you get when you cross the abominable snowman with pasta? Spaghetti! Why do ghosts hate the rain? It dampens their spirits. What do you call a witch that lives at the beach? A sandwich. What kind of mistake does a ghost make? A boo-boo! Why are ghosts so bad at lying? Because you can see right through them. Years ago, a man inherited a house from his great uncle who died from choking on hot dogs. The house sat on a hill outside of town in the next state and rumors were told that it was haunted. The man traveled to the town to inspect the house and found that it was a wonderful old mansion in great condition, but 
very, very old. So he decided to move in and enjoy his inheritance. A couple of weeks later, after he moved in late at night, the phone rang. When he answered it, a voice said, I am the Vinda Viper. I'll be there in 14 days. And then hung up before I could say anything. This really shook the man. The next day, he searched the internet under snakes for Vinder Viper, but found nothing. A week went by with no concerns, and again, late one night, the phone rang. I am the Vinda Viper. I'll be there in seven days. And hung up. This made the man quite nervous, not knowing what a Vinder Viper was. He asked around the town, and no one had heard of any such Viper. Four days later, late at night, the phone rang. I am the Vinda Viper. I'll be there in three days. The man is getting much more concerned now. Two nights later, the phone rang. I am the Vinda Viper. I'll be there tomorrow. Needless to say, the man is just plain scared now. The next evening, the phone rang. I am the Vinda Viper. I'll be there in one hour. The man tried to leave, but his tires were all flat. Nearly an hour later, the phone rang. I am the Vinda Viper. I'll be there in two minutes. The man ran around, locking all the windows and doors, and called 911. The police were on their way. Soon, there was a knock at the door. The man opened the door a crack and asked, I Is that the police? No, I am the Vinda Viper. I come every month to wash and wipe your windows. In a small town, not far from here, there was an old abandoned house. No one ever went near it because everyone said that it was haunted. One day, a bunch of local people were sitting in a coffee shop, chatting about bravery. One man in particular was bragging loudly. I'm not afraid of anything, he boasted. Oh yeah? Asked his buddy. I'll bet you aren't brave enough to spend a whole night alone in that old abandoned house. The boaster didn't want to admit that he was afraid, so he agreed to sleep in the house that very night. At dusk, he arrived at the house alone. He checked every room and found nothing unusual. He chose an upstairs bedroom, spread out his sleeping bag on the floor, and tried to sleep. He had just dozed off when he heard a faint noise from downstairs. He strained to hear what it was. It sounded like someone was moaning these words. I am the ghost of the bloody finger. I am in the front hall. The man told himself that he was just imagining things. It must be the wind, he thought. But then he heard a bit louder. I am the ghost of the bloody finger. I am at the bottom of the stairs. My imagination is running wild, thought the man. I am just going to sleep, and soon it will be morning. But then he heard, even louder, I am the ghost of the bloody finger. I am at the top of the stairs. The man dove inside his sleeping bag but he could still hear the ghost coming closer. I am the ghost of the bloody finger. I am in the upstairs hall. 
the man hid his head under the pillow, but he could still hear the ghost coming even closer. I am the ghost of the bloody finger. I am at the bedroom door. The man was shaking with terror. The door creaked open. I am the ghost of the bloody finger. I am in the bedroom. The ghost paused in the doorway. I am the ghost of the bloody finger. Do you have a band-aid? What's your favorite costume you wore as a kid? Um, my favorite costume, it had to be uh, when I dressed up as the Blue Power Ranger. My favorite costume I wore as a kid would have to be the year that we weren't allowed to wear anything scary or spooky at school, so I went as a doctor. What's the spookiest experience you've ever had? The spookiest experience I've ever had was walking into my house and thinking somebody was there, but they weren't. The spookiest experience I've ever had was a couple years ago, somebody who lives in my household woke up at like 2 in the morning and looked out on our porch and they woke me up really quickly and they said, hey, there's somebody on our, on our porch just looking through our window and they're wearing jeans. And I was, woke up all confused, 2 a.m., you know, I look out and, and I see what's going on through the people in the door and we had put a pair of jeans to dry on the porch and that's what they had seen. What's your favorite spooky movie? Uh, it has to be Halloween Town. I love Halloween Town. Do you have a spooky joke? What do ghosts turn on in the summer? The scare conditioner! Why did the skeleton climb a tree? Because the dog was chasing after his bones. <laughs> <laughs>